All right, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. I am going to be completing a few minor projects in this episode. Uh, but first, I'm going to show you the uh, the completed sugarcane farm. Well, uh, the nearly completed sugarcane farm. Because it's up and running. It's working. It's producing. I built two of them uh, in between the time of the last episode and this episode. Um, I've extended the uh, the uh, redstone torch uh, column all the way to uh, height limit of 128 because I'm not going to go super tall with this uh, this uh, sugarcane farm, this design. Uh, and I completed the clock mechanism. I have hidden it, all the work bits behind uh, a sugarcane uh, curtain. But uh, this is the clock mechanism. It is just a standard Etho redstone clock that I have connected to the two monostable circuits to uh, activate the farm. And it works pretty well as you've seen. So uh, now that you uh, seen the completed project and the uh, bamboo curtain, or not the bamboo curtain, the uh, sugar cane curtain to uh, hide uh, the clock mechanism and just beautify it, make it look pretty, all the stuff from our project. So now let's go complete a few projects. The uh, first project I'm going to be tackling in this episode is uh, linking up all the 1.7.3 uh, terrain to uh, the nether hub in the nether. Uh, I've uh, already completed one, and I will show you that real quick. There we go. Oh, a creeper. Lovely. That'll ruin my day. That'll ruin my day. You know, my creeping is off. That'll ruin my day. I was just slightly backwards. As you can see, I've uh, pre-built some uh, portals to the edges of the 1.7.3 terrain, the beta 1.7.3 terrain. I'm going to be exploring that uh, fortress in a much later episode, but that's going to be ending up deleted uh, when I... Uh, when I, before I upgrade to uh, release 1.16. But uh, here I am towards the north. This is the only uh, nether portal I've built so far. This goes out near, uh, near uh, the stronghold to the north. So I'm going to be linking up the rest of my hub in the overworld uh, by subtracting uh, uh, 511 from uh, by subtracting 32 from 511. 
so that I uh, have the place to build the portal. And I will be uh, doing just that. So we're going to uh, head over there. I'm going to take a cut here because I, you know, well, I don't really need to take a cut actually. We'll just go back through the nether. We get back to zero zero pretty easy. Probably pick up that gun out here from that creeper I killed. on back through to zero zero. Alright. Heading on back through. Alright. Now we're back to zero zero. So now I'm going to take a cut here and I'm going to go to each of the uh, of the uh, edge of the beta 1.7.3 and release 1.0 worlds or terrain and I'm going to dig into the portal and I'll bring you back in through each lighting so I will see you in a minute Alright, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. I had to go back to uh, the end to gather some uh, obsidian, but I'm in the uh, uh, southern section and I've just lit the nether, por nether portal. I'm just lighting it for right now. I'm just bringing you back in for an update. This isn't the only thing we're doing today. I'm going to complete two more. I'm going to bring you back in for each one as I like them. Alright, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. I'm bringing you back in for the east nether portal. Oh, the west nether portal. Oh, god damn it. Yep, three out of three wide. Alright, that's lit. I'm going to go repair the damage on the surface of the uh, of the sand. And uh, that's two other portals down. One more to go. I will see you in a few minutes. Alright, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. I have... Uh, found myself in a unique uh, situation because uh, I uh, I found my, I found the uh, spot to place the uh, nether portal I've just got to bring you all in to build it but uh yeah I ended up in a, a lava lake where it'll be built I probably should have the obsidian on my bar if I'm going to do this, but I'm going to bring you in for building the, uh, the whole thing. I want this lava part, or this glass bag. Alright, alright, alright. Just another one. Okay. Now well, I walked into that. That was bright. Alright, <laughs> so let's uh, let's build this, get, get this done as quickly as possible so we can move on to the, our other projects we want to build today. where it should be built. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, a lot of surprises. A lot of surprises, bad. Okay, okay. That went a lot better than I expected, a lot better. So let's light it up, and then we gotta go to the nether and light them. And we get to accomplish it. So, all right, thank you so much for watching. I'll, I'll be right back. I'll Next time you see me in the nether, and then we're gonna do another project today. Thank you. All right, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. The first one we're going to uh, link up in the nether and light and test is our uh, is our unique strange one that we just got finished with. Let's double check it. It works. It works. Huge success. Let's get back to it. Huge success. Now, let's do the other three. Or the other two, I'm sorry. I'll just head straight ahead because it's easy. I'm going to just go take care of that. Testing. So good, the one in the desert that I uh, I had sand fall in on me. All right, just one more to go, and then we can go place beds in the uh, villager houses, so that we'll be long prepared for that. Yeah, that one's active. That one's active. This last one needs active. All the chunks outside of the uh, nether portal radius, uh, just just outside the nether portal, will be reset come 1.16. So that, I, you know, I have a square edge around my one beta 1.7.3 world. Alright, that's it, success! Mission accomplished. Alright. We're going to go back to the overworld. And then the next time you see me, uh, we're going to be going to the sheep farm and we're going to be making a bunch of beds. So you may not immediately see me. <coughs> but uh, we're going to be placing a bunch of beds in the villages. Uh, to prepare for uh, one for an update later on down the road. I don't know when I'm going to update. It's going to be sometime this year uh, so that we are ahead of the game for when uh, we update. So thank you so much for watching. I will be right back to build some beds. Thank you. All right, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. I am over by the sheep. I am going to plant a lonely little tree. And bone meal it so I at least have it started. And we're going to pick on the red sheep today because I like the classic red bed. So we're going to be also breeding sheep to uh, harvest their wool. So we're going to pick on our red boys here, or red guys here, or girls, whatever. And then we're going to breed them up. And I'll bring you back in when uh, I have a shit ton of wool and wood in order to... Uh, 
helped make all this happen. Thank you very much. All right, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. I've collected quite a bit of uh, wool and uh, planks, mostly through shearing and bone mealing to the point of out of uh, oh, I have to dye it. I can't just use red wool. I thought I could just use red wool. Let's find out. Yeah, I can use red wool. Well, that's a stupid uh, feature. That's just what I have the have room for and the energy for. I'm gonna store everything else. And I'm gonna go uh, plant some beds in uh, the uh, village. And, and I will see you in a few minutes when I get over there. Alright, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. I am over in the uh, Western village. I'm going to plant some uh, trees here, or uh, beds. My eye vendor guy's still going strong. You're going to get a bed, my fella. Where should your bed be? It looks good. There you go, you get a bed. I might have to give him a, uh, for 1.14 at least, a, uh, a brewing stand so he could restock his trades, but uh, that's a that's a while away. But uh, I'm just gonna plant as many beds as I can. Usually in these bungalow-style buildings I've built, and we're just gonna we're just gonna do our best. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do our best. Got to get a bed for my rotten flesh, guys. Now they got a lot of place to sleep. There we go. Now all three of these guys have fed. There we go. Did I leave anything good in this chest? Not particularly. Just money. Alright. One more bed to place. Place it in another bungalow. This is basically just to get started. That's part of this mission complete. Now next I'm going to go and fix the uh, uh, tunnel that goes directly down to the stronghold. Uh, I'm going to line that with some nice pretty blocks. And I will see you in a few minutes. Alright, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. We are back at the uh, towards the uh, stronghold not far from it the northern stronghold <clears throat> I have gathered uh, slabs from uh, my uh, 
iron farm that hasn't that I had left over. So I am going to use those to line the uh, the stronghold. <coughs> I have misaligned it. Uh, the uh, the center block needs to be here. So that's a that's a hell of a screw up. So I'm gonna do my best to uh, fix that. I'm actually gonna need to be lower than that. Gotta be beneath the sand in case there's water. There we go. Uh, riveting content, riveting content. I don't want to bore you all too much, but uh, I'm going to do what I can. I'm going to make a coffer dam. Just so no immediate water can come up. That's the entire point. Why? Probably not. I just need to cover the sand. Anything that could be a problem. Realistically, I need one more ring because I need to center it. Alright, alright. So I'm going to get to digging this out and recentering it. And I will bring you back in. See you in a few minutes. Alright, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. As you can see, I have finished my, uh, my, uh, tunnel to, uh, the stronghold. And I'm bringing you back in to, uh, dig out the coffer dam. And, uh, Restore the natural flow, yada yada yada. So, let's let's do that. Let's return to normal. Right. It took a couple of hours to get this done, but and many trips back, but I managed to get it done. I had to get so many supplies. But I'm, I'm checking things off my list. That was the importance of this episode. To check stuff off the list. Get things done. Uh, you know, an, e an easy episode. So to speak. And it's nice and decorative too. I'll show you what it looks like as I go down after I take care of all this coffer. Might as well get this stuff too. Sorry. <laughs> I'm Riveting content. Riveting. Alright. 
Well, I might have to do it that way. I didn't want to do it that way. But it's the way it's done. So I'll just go around the outside, prop solved. Thanks to respiration, I don't have to worry about, or water breathing, whatever it is. I don't have to worry about it. About being underwater. Alright, let's go get that last bit of gravel. And call it good. And then I'll give you a look. Let's get everything. And down we go. Alright. Now the only way out is actually through the end. So we're going through the end and it should pop right back out where I slept last, which is over at the uh, chunk border for the stronghold. So let's get back to the overworld. Alright, I did it. So, now that that project's complete, this episode is pretty much drawing to a close. So I hope uh, you enjoyed today's episode. If you liked what you saw here, you can uh, subscribe to my Patreon. It's only $5 a month. You get to see my videos one day early. You get to uh, help me build and design things in my world, and you get a credit at the end of every episode. Uh, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and send a friend request. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.